My name's Matt, and I just signed up for an Ironman. Hey everyone, my name is Matt and with this channel what I do is I document my journey to living my greatest life possible and my whole goal of that is to hold myself accountable and at the same time encourage and challenge other people to do the same and with this series here I'm doing it's new on YouTube I've never done anything like these types of videos I am excited to get into it because I signed up for an Ironman that Ironman is Ironman Mont Tremblant in Quebec Canada it's happening August 23rd 2020 assuming everything goes to plan and that's up in the air right now obviously with everything going on but with this series what I want to do is kind of document my journey the person I am now to the person that I become after this whole process is done and uh, really get going and, and excited to do that it's really a video diary for what I'm doing and I hope you enjoy it along the way I hope to make monthly videos updating uh, things on a little bit of different topics like training and what I'm doing, mindset needed to go through and, and do an Ironman and all of the other things. And, and the reason I'm doing an Ironman is because, yes, it takes a lot of time, money, and energy, but I believe there's a huge return on the investment that's going to come out of that. And it's something that I'm really looking forward to seeing how that changes me. So this is my series. Just in case you don't know, an Ironman is a triathlon. A triathlon is a swim, bike, run race, and an Ironman is really the pinnacle, uh, in my opinion. It's a 3.9 kilometer swim, 180 kilometer bike, and a 42.2 kilometer run. That's a full marathon after swimming and biking, and you have to complete all of it in less than 17 hours or else they shut you down. So it's an extreme feat of not just physical toughness, physical endurance, but also mental emotional endurance and so many other things um, my previous experience is I have done three half Ironmans before uh, now I'm stepping up to a full Ironman and the reason I chose Mont Tremblant is because number one it's one of the best race atmospheres in the entire world from a lot of people I know that have done that race and some other races as well uh, number two it's an extremely hard course and I like and I do well in racing tough and challenging courses number three uh, it's in Canada I'm Canadian so shout out to all the Canadians out there uh, excited to have you along so I'm going to give you a few more details when I get back home but first I'm gonna finish my run and I'll see you there so now that we're home I just want to be able to provide a few more details to you about my history in triathlon kind of what my next steps are as we get into this and a lot of people um, will love to tell you that they're an Ironman. That's not the whole point of doing these videos. Uh, really, my whole point is to tell you that number one, uh, yeah, I do love to talk about triathlon. Triathlon is a passion of mine, but ultimately my whole goal is really to document everything that goes into it, release monthly videos, uh, kind of sharing my story on the mindset, the growth that I have, as well as the training, uh, because I, I really believe that if you do something like an Ironman, it's going to change who you are at the core of your being. So uh, it's something that is a creative outlet for me. It's something that uh, is something different to the other videos that I put on this channel. Uh, and I'm excited to do that. So I hope that you're excited for these as well. Um, but let's start by talking about my kind of history in triathlon. How did I actually get to the point where I am here clicking register for an Ironman triathlon? And, um, I've been doing triathlons since I was out of high school, kind of the grade 12 year um, I did my first triathlon. It was actually a team triathlon. I have a lot of friends that are very, very good swimmers, and I never grew up um, swimming on a swim team, for example, because I was playing hockey and basketball, and there just wasn't enough time in the day. Um, but I, I was a runner. I did enjoy cycling quite a bit. Um, and my friend signed up for the swim and I did the bike and run and, and we did really, really well. I think we actually won the team division for that race. 
Um, and it was something that kind of gave me that triathlon bug. And then I started training to actually be able to do the swim myself for the next year at that local sprint race. And uh, I could barely swim 25 meters. And many of you watching this, if you're actual triathletes, uh, you might remember your first few times in the pool. Uh, and you can probably relate to that. So if you can, hit the thumbs up button uh, or drop a comment below. I'd really appreciate that. But um, it was crazy for me to think that I would be able to swim 750 meters with people trying to pass me, with people kicking me, people elbowing me by accident as they're going through. Because if you've ever been in a swim in a triathlon, it can be carnage uh, depending on how many people are in your field. So uh, that was crazy for me to think that I would actually be able to do that. But now through training and practice, uh, swimming is actually one of my favorite and actually best event. I've had some pretty good results. Uh, coming out of the swim leg for things. So um, that's kind of my story about how I got started. Eventually, I've gone on to do uh, quite a few local sprint and provincial sprint uh, races when I was just getting started. In 2016, um, I completed the last of my three half Ironmans that I've done. Um, and I've also done a few open water 3K and 4K uh, swims when I lived in the Caribbean as well. So um, that's kind of my journey, but it stops at 2016 and I actually won my age group for uh, a half Ironman um, and that meant I qualified for the 2017 ITU long distance world championships which was a race held in Penticton BC um, and I was actually able to represent my country for that but I never got to because uh, I got injured at the beginning of that year just through overtraining doing a lot of cross-country skiing um, I developed a foot injury uh, which was something that I dealt with for probably about two years um, and really kind of took my um, exercise abilities away from me um, because it bothered me so much. And it really hasn't been until the last uh, year and a half, two years that I've started kind of getting back into exercise, um, strengthening my foot a few different ways. And the main way that I've been doing it is going back to play soccer. Um, I did play soccer for my university. Uh, and that's been something that I, I've enjoyed doing, but now I'm finally ready to get back into training for an Ironman. Um, so that's where we kind of find ourselves. That was uh, something that uh, I had worked up towards and, and tried very, very hard to get to. And then at that moment, um, when I realized that I wasn't going to be able to do that race, that was something that really um, challenged me in a lot of ways because you work so hard to get to a place that you finally get to and then it's kind of taken away from you. So uh, I, I've kind of figured that one out. I'm excited to go uh, into this Ironman uh, whenever the race is and, and go through and do it. And I should talk about that right now because um, obviously our world's going through a lot right now. Many of us are asked to social distance. That means things like pools aren't open or you're not able to train with uh, your training partners um, and it makes running and, and, and swimming and biking everything very very challenging um, or a lot more challenging and it's something that uh, is a very small issue to many of the other issues that a lot of people are facing here but it's something that uh, I use as an outlet so it's something that I prioritize during this time and um, for me I've really recognized that a month ago I registered for this race it was literally the next day um, that kind of things kind of changed for me in my life uh, when I stopped working um, and I'm working from home now um, and we've been asked to social isolate and, and all of these other things that have kind of come up um, it was literally the night before I registered and the next day and I and I never saw that coming if I was being completely honest um, but the lesson that this has taught me is I could take this huge sum of money that it costs just for the registration alone and I could choose to sit around and complain I could choose to um, just dwell on the fact that I don't have that money or I can choose to move forward and say hey I've committed this money for my registration for my Ironman uh, I'm working towards a bigger goal whether it happens in August or another month of this year or it's postponed to the year after that doesn't matter my goal is to complete an Ironman and so I'm going to choose to have the mindset to be the best that I possibly can be when it comes to race day whenever that is and that's just a, a big life lesson that I've kind of learned over the past uh, few years as a, a few situations have come up for me. 
and I wanna just talk quickly about what my training looks like. Typically, um, I've had a high profile coach coach me in the past uh, for my half Ironmans. Um, and I'm probably going to do my own coaching this time because I know enough about it. Um, but I do want to go ahead and make sure that I definitely prioritize three to four swim workouts uh, and four to five bike and run workouts each per week with a few strength, mainly core strength exercises kind of sandwiched in between. So uh, that's what my training looks like. If you have any questions about that, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I'm also going to leave my link to my Strava profile down there. It's uh, an online community where people can go ahead and connect and follow each other's workouts um, for the different uh, legs. And it's a, a really neat platform that people can use. So I'd really encourage you to go check that out. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Click the subscribe button as well if you wanna see more of these triathlon videos or any other video that I make basically about living your greatest life and uh, visit our website at www.gr8nessevryday.com. Really want to say thank you for watching. Remember, choose greatness every day, and I'll see you in the next video.